Millionaires are made during recessions and I have a few opportunities in this video that can get you closer to that goal and one penny stock at the end of this video that is at a 3 million market cap and has a projection of 80 million revenue and could pop very very soon there continue continues to be a lot of great runners in the small cap market of course nobody's going to be right 100 percent of the time but if you can hit a few of these big ones you can make a ton of money in the market even during the choppy times and if you get good at making money during the choppy times in the market imagine what you're going to be able to do when we get back to a nice bull run and there's stocks flying that you've never even heard of the market had an over 100 percent runner today again and it was nxtp that ran over 100 percent right here and investors are still targeting these small caps and i have a few undervalued plays under 10 cent that i believe at some point in the near future could have this type 100 percent pop in a single day first i want to mention the stock that was covered yesterday remember at, you know at the time yesterday it was the smallest market cap in the entire market and I still think it's actually the smallest it it did rise today but it didn't hold those gains very well and it's still one of the smallest market caps in the entire market ticker AREB was covered at 28 cent per share yesterday before market closed and this is why I keep telling you all to have the bell on the notification bell subscribe like the video turn on the bell it suggests these videos if you like the video in the future turning on the bell you get the videos instantly and subscribing obviously you'll see the videos in the future so you can get on these as soon as possible after the video during pre-market tomorrow or this morning they posted news that they forecast 5 million revenue in quarter three and are on target to exceed 20 million annual revenue and remember this is only sitting at what like a 1 million market cap right now it was alerted in the private discord yesterday at 3 o'clock p.m eastern time join the private discord link in the top pin comment to get small cap otc options alert and we have a scanner running in the discord live where it actually posts the news live so nxtp ran off of some crazy news 100 million news we have a scanner running in there live every morning that is posting that news automatically and also calling out different plays through voice so you can see the plays that are running at the time and getting a lot of volume that that a rab call right here was an easy 82 percent return from that 25 cent call that hit it hit around 40 cent at the high of the day it's still undervalued in my opinion at these levels just a 1.5 million market cap and a 4.6 million float and if you have patience and let it get back down to that 25 cent level and you know there's a 27 cent gap fill but i think it already filled that it's up about three percent after hours right now i honestly think areb will provide another great swing trade opportunity for another potential explosive move i said this today you know i know many of you right now are waiting for a bull run in the market but you don't really have to right now just adapt there are so many opportunities to make in the market right now there's a lot of different ways to make a lot of money right now just learn every day and you can still make significant returns even in a choppy market if you want to follow me on twitter it's moon market underscore and with most of these small caps right now it's just about finding the undervalued plays with upcoming catalysts low market caps low floats decent volume being patient and waiting for these catalysts to actually play out you know on this channel i like to bring you plays that i believe can run in the short term potentially even run the next day i know a lot of you don't like waiting and i don't like either we want to get those gains quick but you got to realize, I mean, there is an exception with, you know, the few that I'm holding long term. I tell you guys I'm holding long term that I could wait months or even years to play out. But I like to br bring plays that can run soon. But most plays you get in will not run the next day after you get in with the exception for a few. We've had KPRX, ATXI and AREB recently that ran literally the day after. But it's important to have patience in this market and conviction in your place if you have the conviction you'll be able to grab more shares as the stock moves lower without stressing about it and this is how i've been able to be successful lately finding strong stocks that i believe are going to have a nice run and if they slide when i get my first initial position that's fine because i have money left on the side i don't go all in right away i have money left on the side that i can average down in on and once you know, I'm all the way averaged in and the catalyst comes, I'm going to have my full position. I'm going to be ready to ride it and then take profits on the way higher. Find the stocks with upcoming catalysts, buy on support levels and wait for the catalyst to hit in my opinion. None of this is financial advice, but now I want to talk about the stock ticker DBGI. I believe this can be one of the next big runners now. Can it move lower? 
before it runs yes it's at nine cent right now a 4.8 million market cap these are the kind of plays that have been running First of all, I already added over 100,000 shares of DBGI just today, but I'm prepared for it to potentially come back down to this 0.084 support level. And there's also a support level at 0.08. Worst case, it comes down to this 0.067, but the first support level is 0.084. If it comes down to 0.084, I'm ready to load up. Comes down to 8 cent even, I'm ready to load up. And if it comes down to 0.067, that would suck, but that would be a beautiful buy opportunity because at that point it would be like a 2 million market cap or a 3 million market cap. Nobody has a crystal ball and can say for sure if it will hit those levels again, but you got to be prepared for anything. And this is why you scale in when you're taking a position and scale out when you're taking profit, meaning slowly scale in, don't go all in at once and then slowly scale out, meaning don't sell all at once because it could keep moving higher. Just slowly scale out, scale in. That's just what I do. That's my opinion. I do like, or I do see some big bids placed in the after hours right now at 0.084. So it seems there's a lot of people right now getting ready to load up at 0.084. And if it gets down there, I'm going to be ready for that as well. These stocks under 10 cent have been very hot lately and retail has been flooding into the good ones. Ticker com COMS ran 292% from 4 cent to 17 cent this week. Comms was initially alerted in the private discord at 6 cents per share, but it slid down 28% after their alert before the massive move. People were freaking out. Moon market, you know, you alerted comms at 6 cent. It's at 4 cent now, and it's down 28%. Well, a lot of people were calm, and they loaded up because they had the conviction in this play because they posted a PR that they basically had to get their share price over 10 cent. Well, they did that, and the ones that, that did have conviction and loaded at that 4 cent and 5 cent per share, they got a massive return because after it slid down, this was alert, it slid down, and then it popped up. 300%. So if you have conviction, you can average down. And also Armed, I was covering this one for weeks. The share price slid as we were waiting for that catalyst, but the catalyst hit and we got a 71% move. So whoever scaled down to at five bucks and even under five, that was a massive return on your investment right there. And why do I like DBGI? What's the DD on this one? First, it fits the penny stock theme right now. They just finalized a new agreement to acquire Sundry, which generated 22.8 million revenue in 2021. And they complain plan to complete the transaction in November, which is next month. Okay. They posted 3.7 million revenue in quarter two, 2022, which is an increase of 273% and a profit margin of 58%. So they're a profitable company. They posted 3.4 million revenue in quarter one. So they only have a 4 million market cap. They have done a total of 7.4 million revenue in the first half of 2022, and they're consistently increasing this revenue. And of course they have the 22 million revenue producing acquisition on the way, which gives investors a major catalyst to look forward to. When looking into this one, I was a little bit worried that they may need to do an offering to complete the acquisition if they don't have enough cash, but they did a 9.3 million offering already in May, and this should give them enough capital to complete the 22 million acquisition. Here's where it gets very interesting. Pay attention to this part. This may decide if you want to get in the play or if you don't want to get in the play or if you want to wait a little bit to get in the play. This is company is either going to be doing a reverse stock split or NASDAQ will grant them a 180 day extension to get their share price over $1 per share if you don't know you have to technically be over a dollar per share to be on nasdaq but a lot of companies you know they they get extension after extension after extension and they can be under a dollar for i've seen a company be under a dollar for over a year without even getting delisted but a lot of companies can just reverse split and they're good well they have an approved reverse split but i believe either way where whatever way it goes it will be good for shareholders at the end of the day it just depends on when you get in or not all a lot of these plays that have good upcoming catalysts are gonna pop it's just you got to get the right entry you got to be able to average down you can't just go all in at once if they get the extension we have the 22 million revenue acquisition that's coming up and an and it can explode leading up to that. If we get news that they extended it instead of the reverse split, it could pop off of that as well. But if we do get the reverse split, depending on the size of the split, there's a chance, remember, that the stock price can fall when they announce the split. But I'll, I'll actually add, I'll want to get in even more shares if they announce the split and it falls. But if they announce they're doing a one for 50 one for 150 reverse split because they're either going to do a one for 50 or a one for 150 in between that range as well. If they do a one for 150, I believe it will pop 
because people investors will realize that's going to bring the float down to 330,000. Remember NRBO that had a 400,000 float and that popped significantly. But this one will come down to 330,000, which will be one of the smallest floats on the entire market if they do that one for 150. Imagine a 330k float stock at a 5 million market cap or maybe even it goes well under 5 million if, you know, people sell off on the split news and then they complete a 22 million revenue producing deal and they already posted 7 million revenue in the first half of the year. I believe that's a really, really great opportunity. So keep in mind that the short interest is slightly high, but they're starting to let it go a bit. It decreased 15% today, and it's now at 10% with the cost of borrow at 33%. Next stock ticker, NXMR. This is currently sitting at one cent per share. I know it's cut off here. I know that half of this video is cut off, but you know I'm explaining to you what all this is just to make up for it because there's something wrong with this page today for some reason. But it's at a 3.6 million market cap, one cent, 51 million flow. This is an undervalued play in my opinion. It's a tiny oil and gas play. They posted a PR today that their audit would be completed this month and they're going to be uplist to o uplisting to OTCQB from OTC Pink. They are also just recently tweeted that they're working on purchasing the note that will stop quarterly share conversions, that will eliminate the dilution. A lot of the reason why this is at a 3.6 million market cap and it has not run yet is because there is dilution. But if they stop that dilution, they can freely let this ride now. They just completed a deal that added 20 million of top line revenue and another deal that added 10 to 15 million revenue. Both of these were just completed last month and it has not moved because of that note that they're about to buy back and cancel out basically. So remember, this is the stock that previously hit five cent per share when they didn't have to worry about those note conversions. So if they completely get this note out of the way, this one can run. Here's a lot of DD you need. They have government contracts in four states for well capping. And oil's high right now, so this benefits off of oil prices being high. They started the year with 750 million authorized shares, and they're bringing that down to 225 million in the next few weeks. They're going to get the audit done. They are expecting 40 to 80 million revenue by next October. At, at 20, 225 million authorized shares and a two cent stock price, the market cap's only 4.5 million. They, the float is only 51 million shares and they tallied their shares up at another Discord and they own 50% of the float of the stock. It's easy to lock this one up. And this could be at $1.36 per share if they're actually doing that, 40 million revenue per year. I don't like price targets, but with the PE ratio in place or the PS ratio in place that in the oil industry at a 6.8x, it could get up to that price if they're really doing this revenue. And they prove that revenue in an audit. And the company has vowed valued or has vowed no dilution for the next 2.5 years. Make sure you use the Moomoo link in the top pinned comment. It gives you 15 free stocks and you can do trade on the Moomoo trading platform. You get pre-market and after hours. You get 15 free stocks valued up to $2,000 each stock. This deal ends very soon. So you only have like pretty much one opportunity to get this. So get those 15 free shares. That's it for me. Peace.